We are in the ITU studio in Geneva, and we are very pleased to be joined by Ananda Raj Kanal, Director of Nepal Telecommunications Authority and Vice Chair of ITUD Studio Group 2. Nepal experienced a devastating earthquake in 2015. What was its impact on telecommunication and ICT services? The impact of 2015 earthquake of uh, Nepal from the telecommunication and ICT service perspective has to be seen from three perspectives. Number one, there was a huge damage on the telecommunication infrastructure, such as uh, the fiber back backbone, uh, the microwave transmission links, microwave towers, the BTS towers, and the houses which uh, were housed in these towers were also damaged. Second aspect that has to be seen is uh, the supporting infrastructure, for example, the power supply systems, electricity, diesel generator, uh, and uh, the transportation systems were partly damaged. That resulted uh, in the uh, quick restoration of uh, the damaged infrastructure uh, was delayed. You know, because some of the infrastructure were damaged, so that has impact on the, on the service already and because during the emergencies you tend to make more calls there's more traffic so there is a traffic congestion in the network and that delayed in the communication for individual people what contribution did ITU make and in what ways did it make a difference I must thank ITU for its proactive uh, role uh, in providing uh, the uh, satellite phones and the big end terminals for the broadband internet connectivity with the standalone um, solar chargers. And also it provided the training for the use of these equipments. These equipments were very useful for the responders, especially the Nepal security forces who were on the ground for uh, disaster response, mitigation, and rehabilitation. How relevant is the question on the use of telecommunications or ICTs for disaster preparedness, mitigation, and response? Yes. Under study group 2, we have a question 5 slash 2 on the topic that you have mentioned on disaster response using ICTs and telecommunication services. The question covers a gamut of issues in all phases of disaster management. So, uh, and it also provides uh, guidelines and best practices, also provides a number of case studies from around the world, the technologies that can be used for, for in different phases of disaster. So this question is extremely relevant and timely for almost all membership in the world. Thank you very much. And thank you very much.